Yo, yo, this is Lady Sovereign right now. We are at the Westway AstroTurf football pitch just below the A1. Glamorous. I used to play, and like, that's like my first passion, but first love, playing football, but I started smoking and drinking, and I found something else to do anyway, so I'm a big United fan, big England fan, so uh, always watching it. I've just been out in America, released my album out there, like, it's always nice going home and it's a different vibe here, but at the same time, like, I love it in America and not anywhere else I go. When I get back, I get some microwave shepherd's pies, 99p from Tesco, and I eat one of those. We go to a tricycle theatre where um, I did this little film back in the day, which kind of led on to other things. I've been there for years, so it's going to be um, interesting. They better give me some free drinks. <laughs> When I got thrown out of school, I was sent here, like as discipline to do something. We're in the rehearsal room where I was a timid little shy thing coming in. I remember this room well, the old piano. But with the film, the reason why I think it sparked things off is because uh, it was the first time they let me in a studio because they found out I was an MC. That's how I met Medicine, my producer who I work with now. And he was a friend of the guy who was like directing the film here. So he sent the CD off without even asking. Things happen for a reason, do you know what I mean? And it's just weird to stand in here like after all these years. Uh, oh God, I think sick come out in the back of my throat. I've got bad memory, man. I can just about remember coming in here. <laughs> well, we're going into the actual theatre. See, when I first started MCing, I mean, it felt comfortable and I started coming out of my shell and I didn't care anymore. It's weird, because I was like really like, don't talk to anyone. We're going to Medicine's studio over in Bethnal Green. Ah, oh, I've got a headache. Most of my album I've recorded here. I love it here, it's in my little sanctuary. I ain't been here for ages though, this is like the first time I've been here in a while. What happens here, I mean, me and Medicine work together on the beat and we just come up with some mad shit. <laughs> and uh, that's the way I like it. The weirder, the better. The album, Public Warning, it's just a mixture of genres of music. A bit of punk, a bit of ska, a bit of hip hop. There's no concept for it really. I just wanted to make individual tracks, not repeating myself and what I say, like some people do. Yeah, me and Jay Z, the question. Yeah, you just wanted to meet me in person after he's like heard my music. Flew me out first class, got to New York, walked in this office with a blank stare from Jay Z, just grinning at me like. Then an hour later, it's like, welcome to Def Jam, man. <laughs> I know that I've achieved something like being the first non-American female to be signed to Def Jam. I've rewritten the history books. This chair's making noises like I'm farting. I've always felt like I was making it, whether it was just small things or whatever, but yeah, I suppose being assigned to Death Jam's like the icing on the cake. And um, being able to break America is like rare. But there's a long way to go. I'm not gonna claim like, you know, I'm like some superstar or something. I don't act like one anyway. That's, that's the best part about me, I think. That's why people like me quite humble. I just want to travel the world and go to different places and keep making my music and whatever happens, happens. I'll only do things that I want to do. Yeah, thanks for coming all back to mine. Hello. 
But yeah, I'm getting out of here because I'm going home. So I'll uh, sling you 